Howdy! I just got my first shipment of Blue Ridge guitars in. I'm really excited because I've, I've loved these Blue Ridge guitars for years. This is my first opportunity to spend this much time with them. Um, and definitely my first opportunity to, uh, to have them available for y'all. And I've gotten lots of questions on social media about what they sound like. And do they compare uh, to your nicer guitars, your, your Martins and guitars in, in that... Um, in that category. So I thought that I'd just take a few minutes here and do an A versus B versus C versus D test here. And I've got my, my Martin D28 75th anniversary. It's really not fair, but I wanted you to hear the difference. Um, my Martin is, is Madagascar Rosewood Adirondack Top. Really nice guitar, and it's been played in for a while. All of these uh, Blue Ridges, which I'm really impressed with, are brand spanking new. Um, and they have brand new strings on them, unless those Chinese had a little hoedown with them before they put them in the box. Um, so they've all got new strings. I haven't played them hardly at all, just tuned them up. And then my Martin, I put brand new Diodario uh, EJ17 mediums on them, uh, just to try to keep everything as uh, fair as possible. And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to um, play the exact same thing on each guitar. I'm gonna keep it simple so nothing gets in the way. Um, because I want to, I want to remove all user uh, error or input in there, bias, and I'm, I'm keeping all the mic settings the same. These are the same settings that I use whenever I record my guitar videos, um, and that way you can you can go back and forth and you can just watch and see how the four guitars react to to different styles of playing. So the first one we've got here, uh, let's see, we're going to start with the the Blue Ridge 140 BR 140. Uh, this is a um, mahogany back inside guitar. All right, it's just got the standard spruce, Sika spruce top uh, there, and it's it's really nice dreadnought. So it's going to compare what their aim is for this to compare to a, a D18. Also having that same D18 style, the D140A, and the A stands for Adirondack. So it's all the same specs of the uh, BR140, um, but it's uh, an upgraded Adirondack top. So we'll see how that compares to the regular. 140. I also have the BR160, and this is their D28 model guitar. So this is going to have a little fancier pick guard and binding. It's got the herringbone, um, and then it also has um, East Indian rosewood back and sides. Okay, but not with the Adirondack top. It's just got the regular Sitka spruce top. Um, and then we're going to compare that with a guitar that I play quite a bit. This is the D28 75th anniversary. Um, I think this was made in, uh, yeah, 09. This is number 51. And it's got um, the Madagascar rosewood back in size, the Adirondack top. So we'll see, you know, how does a six to $800 guitar compare to a six to $7,000 guitar? Um, let's start out with the 140, the G Run.
down low. Which one was your favorite? I have to be really honest and say that the playability of all the guitars are about the same. Of course, I've, I've had my uh, Martin set up. Um, it's been a while, but it's still very playable. But all of these Blue Ridges came to me just as playable. They do have a slightly uh, narrower nut. They've got an inch and a three quarter nut. So I'm not quite used to that. Um, I'm used to a little bit wider with the 28. So that 
maybe changes my playability a little bit, but I'm really, really impressed with them. I'd be interested to hear in the comments below which one was your favorite and why.